The family of 16-year-old Balan Stewart, who was stabbed to death outside her Queensland home, said the brutal court proceedings were not a winner. They were speaking out court after Balan was convicted manslaughter in connection with the death Gunesla Sahil in January last year, despite the fact that a teenager, whose name could not be named, was acquitted for legal reasons. We are devastated no one should go through this court process, Michael Stewart told reporters. Read Trump charged with classified documents Mr Stewart said it was devastating to hear over and over again how his son during the trial. There were no winners and hundreds of people were affected. Our family is devastated. I'm sure his family felt it too, he added. Kerry Lynn Stewart said no decision would be good, while her husband said the outcome would not bring Ballon back. The teenager was 17 when they got involved in fight that resulted in Ballon's death from a single stab wound to his heart with 12-centimeter meat knife. Marx told jury at beginning trial that he deliberately stabbed Ballon in one of most vulnerable parts human body, right after defendant said he wanted to kill 16-year-old boy. The teenager said he drove five minutes to Balan's house late at night because his ex-girlfriend had sent him provocative videos featuring him and the 16-year-old. When arrived, asked Balan if wanted to fight, and said, it led to a shootout on the grassy field outside Bardina's house. The teenager told court that he reflexively hit the 16-year-old Balan with his fist, not realizing that he had knife in his hand. A teenager, whose name has not been released for legal reasons, was acquitted of, but found guilty of manslaughter upon Stewart's death. Mrs. Stewart was awakened by the girl banging on the window yelling for her to come out. The young man said he was jealous in court, but did not become angry after the videos were posted, and did not want to hurt Balan too much. I went there specifically for a fight, the defendant told the jury. She denied telling another witness that she had bought a steak knife on impulse and said it was for safety after being warned that Ballon had the knife. A Brisbane High Court jury found him guilty of on Friday afternoon, after nearly 14 hours of deliberation. The teenager was detained with the case scheduled to be heard before Judge Elizabeth Wilson on Wednesday. He will be punished under the Youth Justice Act at an as-yet undecided date.